Hi everyone, so today I'll be filming my how I edit my photos on Instagram. I know so many of you have been asking me to do this for such a long time. I finally come around to do it. I've been waiting for I've been waiting to get a camera so I can actually like screen record on my phone whilst recording um, if that makes sense but I finally have my camera so there's no excuse for me not to do it. Just how I edit my photos, um, obviously everybody edits it differently, um, some of you might not like it, some of you might, um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. So what I'm going to do is edit a selfie, an eyeshadow photo and like an outside fashion kind of photo, um, outfit, fashion, whatever you want to call it. So what I do is go to Facetune and I use the Whiten app to whiten the background and, and then I'm going to drag it on my eye, whatever that bit of my eye is called, I have no clue. I'm probably going to put it in my inner corner a little bit and on my nose, like literally this is why I love Facetune. Look how much you can zoom in. You can you can genuinely zoom into your soul. Then you're going to go into smooth, and I kind of drag it really lightly across my skin, wherever I want to smooth anything out. So basically, on my face, just do a bit on my chin, my forehead, but like really lightly. The like with Facetune, what it is, the harder you press on the screen, the more it kind of does it so the more you're going to smooth your face out um the more you're going to add detail back in the more you're going to whiten it etc etc and then this is my favorite tool it's the detail one and i just drag it across my brows or anything i want to bring detail back into and look at what it does it looks so much better and um then i zoom in and oh, this is i always do this on my eyes i like my eyelashes as well bring them out a little um then i do it on my nose because obviously i smooth that out a bit so i want to add a bit of detail back in see that's the thing guys you can smooth it out and then add detail back in and it still is you like you just literally enhancing your features and i'm gonna do it on my jawline as well because that literally makes a massive difference um <laughs> so that's basically me done in Facetune, like this is the extent I use Facetune to, like there's a lot of other stuff on here. And then I'm going to go into like my favourite editing app ever, it's called Snapseed. Um, I've been using this for so long, like so much you can do on here, it's crazy, you get like, you get your last edits on here, effects, filters, you can smooth skin, you can change the structure, um, healing, uh, but what I do for selfies, I go into tune image, so first you go into tools and then tune image, um, and then I go onto brightness and like depending on the photo, like sometimes if it's really dark, I put it onto like 40, but like for this, this is kind of alright, so I think I'm going to leave it at like 17, uh, then I always take the contrast down a bit, saturation, now you might think this is weird, but I always turn it down, I just don't like saturated photos, but I do turn ambience up. Um, then I go into highlights and I turn that up a tiny bit. Shadows I always turn down but not too much. And then warmth I always do like two or three. Now onto my favourite tool, brush. Oh my god this changes the game. Now you go into exposure and I always put mine to seven or three if the background is really bright. And you basically just swipe over the background whatever you want to expose but once you do that you kind of want to go back in and erase anything that you've exposed that you don't want to expose so then i'm going to go into brush again and i'm going to use a dodge and burn tool now this is what makes your highlight pop honestly guys this is like insane so we turn it to like plus five and you kind of just drag it across your highlight really lightly just don't do it too harsh because it can look a bit fake um but very lightly wherever your highlight is just go over it and like look at the difference and then i do that on my nose as well I'm really sorry about the lighting change it's because the sun's going down i think so it's just it's gonna keep changing but um yeah this is what i do for my highlight on every single photo go back in and put it to minus five and make sure can you see that little white circle make sure it's about this big and then kind of like tap 
onto wherever your contour is. Okay, let's just zoom down. Tap onto wherever your contour is. You can drag it as well, but you just have to be really careful. And like, it just brings out your contour a lot more. And also, if you're wearing anything black or just anything dark, and it turns out to turns out quite grey in photos, you can use the dodge and burn tool again on minus five and kind of like drag it across whatever you're wearing and like look at the difference in that, it just makes it instantly look better. And then I go into Instagram and use the Aiden filter on Instagram, but I don't use it to 100, I put it to about 30. Oh my god, I'm so sorry if you can hear my brother screaming. And then, um, depending on the photo again, um, you can just add brightness back in. So like here, I could just add it to like three. And what I always do is go onto colour, make sure it's on the shadows. And go onto the red colour and put it to about five or six. Now, you, you probably can't tell the difference. <laughs> like sometimes I can't tell the difference either. But I've read somewhere that it just enhances your makeup. I always sharpen my photos and I always put it to about 15 but yeah that's basically it so whatever you need to like do say if you saturated it too much you can desaturate I just like to do the little things towards the end on Instagram see the difference yeah you can definitely see the difference oh my god this makes me feel like such a catfish um, right so for the next one God, this photo is awful. Like, this needs a lot of editing. So what I'm going to do is open this up in Facetune. I'm going to whiten that part of my eye that I don't know what it's called again. And then for the smooth tool, now, on um, my eyeshadow photos, I go a bit ham. Not going to lie. Um, not as much on my skin, but more, like, my eye area, because I just love... Those really clean photos of eyeshadow when it's just like, I love that. So that's what I want my eyeshadow to look like. Um, so I kind of just smooth it over because obviously like when you take photos, the um, camera does pick up a lot of texture um, depending on what light you take it in. And clearly this day, the lighting was not my friend. Then I go back into details and I'm going to add a lot of detail back in because I'm going to add it back into my highlight, back into my cheek a little, um, back into my eyeshadow a little bit as well actually. That's basically, the, that's basically it on Facetune. Like the most I do is on Snapseed again, especially for my eyeshadow photos. So I'm going to open this up then again, bring up exposure, just expose the background a little. Then I'm going to go back into that and go into dodge and burn. Now, for eyeshadows, I dodge and burn a lot. If the eyeshadow is dark in person, it even if it is dark in person, it just never comes out as dark in photos. Like that day, my eyeshadow was like pitch black in person. It just come out grey on photos. It just, it depends on the lighting again. It just doesn't pick it up as much. So I do like to dodge and burn my eyeshadow in these instances a lot. Um, so what I basically do is put it on minus five and drag it across the eyelid. Like that. A little white circle, like when you're zooming in and out. Make sure that circle is just like big enough to cover whatever you're dodge and burning so like here is just like the size of my eyelid because if you do it too much you're just going to darken everything around your eye and you don't really want to do that because it's going to get rid of the blend after you've kind of got like the base like the eyelid as dark as you want it you kind of go in and just like tap i don't know whether you can see it like tap like that to get that blend that is basically done. Let me just zoom in. I'm just going to darken the lash line a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in and enhance my contour a bit. Oh, okay. Let's zoom into my soul there. And I'm going to darken my hijab. Because it's turned out very light on here. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is go back into the tools and go into saturation. The eyeshadow sometimes just turns out a bit dull. Add saturation just to like, can you, oh, can 
Can you see that? It just brings it back a little more. And also like here, my contour is very orange. So I'm just gonna to do it to minus five and desaturate it a little bit. It's literally the same, just dragging it across, doing the highlight like that dragging it down here yeah so that's basically what i would do with those tools maybe here i seem to have blended that out quite a bit why is it not the heck it's froze on me <laughs> so basically what it's done it's just froze on me so it's deleted it all but what i've done is opened the photo i edited before um back up in snapseed and what i did on this now this has already been for instagram as well but what i did on this after i did all the dodge and burn stuff is again adjusted the brightness the contrast just like my selfie what i also did is go into healing and what you can do with this is say if you have a spot now because obviously i got rid of most of mine um, say if you've got like a spot or some pores you can just click on it like that and it will get rid of it instantly so obviously this photo has already been through instagram but um what i did was put the aiden filter over it again and i put it to about 30 uh, then i i don't think i adjusted a lot of these and yeah that's basically it right and then for like my outfit photos i picked this one that i took in prague now i've posted this before but i thought i'd show you gal gals I thought I'd show you guys how I edit this. So again, I open it up in Facetune. I'm going to take the smoothing tool and smooth my face a little bit because the sun has brought out some texture that I do not want on there. That bit on my skirt, I kind of just smooth that over just to make it look a bit better. And I do the same thing on my top just because you can see like outer lines and stuff and I don't really want that on there. Uh, just like that and I go into details so I'm gonna do that on my glasses and my eyebrows my eyes because obviously it's from quite far away you want everything to stand out a lot more so don't worry if you overuse this tool a little bit too much <laughs> I always do it as well and then see like my necklace necklace <laughs> like my necklace here is very like lost so what I'm gonna do is bring the detail back out like that might look ridiculous but once you zoom out you honestly can't you can barely tell but like can you see how much more it stands out and then i'm going to take it into snapseed and what i'm going to do first is go onto the rotate tool and all i'm going to do is just straighten it out a little bit i've actually done that a bit too much what you can do on snapseed as well is if you go onto that little tool there i don't know whether you can see that one there you go onto view edits and you basically get a list of all your edits on here so whatever you've done you can go back and redo so I'm going to click on rotate and click on the little edit thing and can you see that I can just go back and re-edit that there we go and then just press back and so for this photo I'm just gonna put the brightness up a little um, contrast I'm gonna bring down as always saturation down Ambience I'm going to turn up. I just literally, I have like the same thing I do for each photo. It just depends on how much I want to increase or decrease anything by. So I'm going to go into Dodge and Burn and I'm just going to do that on my neck a little bit just to make my neck match my face. Um, I don't even really need to do this but just go over my contour, just to make everything a bit brighter. Jawline. To make that double chin disappear yeah that's literally it it's like the outside photos don't need a lot of editing and then what i'm gonna do is save as a copy now what i'm gonna do differently for this one and what i usually do for my outside one is go into visco or whatever it's called vsco and i'm gonna edit it and see on here you get a bunch of different filters which you can choose from and they're so so nice I love this one. A4 is one of my favourites. Now there is one that I like as well. These are the ones that you have to pay for, but if you click onto this one, see this is my favourite. I love dogs. Um, dog one is my absolute favourite. 
and this one is this one you have to pay for but what I do little tip that my best friend gave me what I do is basically you can click on it and you can still have a look at what the filter looks like on your photo so what I do is just change it to whatever I want so if I want it on here or here I like it on 4.8 so what I do is screenshot it um, then I crop it on here just makes it easier to crop it straight away and save it to my photos <laughs> and that's literally it you've basically got the filter for free and I'm gonna take it to Instagram again and I'm going to put the Aiden filter on as well but I might not put it up as high because obviously I've got another filter underneath and then I'm just gonna adjust it to whatever it needs adjusting to. I love editing like the little bits on Instagram, it's not my favourite part, it's when the photo really comes together. And then onto sharpen, I do bring that up for like outfit photos, I bring that up quite high, just so you can actually see everything. So that's basically the photo done. Uh, let me screenshot that so you can guys, you guys can see the difference. There you go, so you can see the difference, like it's not massive, it's just, you kind of just change the colours of the filters, make them all go together. If you use the same filter consistently through every single one of your photos, um, you'll make them all like match. But yeah, this is basically all I do. There is like other apps that I use for my stories if you guys would want to see that. And I love playing around with stories because you don't really need every single photo to match. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see that as well, I'll be more than happy to do it. I know how to record on my phone now, so that will be much better, hopefully. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this has been helpful. This is just the way I edit my photos. I know you guys have been asking me for ages to do this video. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!